Imagine if she was white. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get all your cool merch in the description section. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live. Let's get into this. So Virginia has this multicultural uh, e event space. I guess where kids come and hang out, kind of like a student union on campus. And there has to be crazy lunatics who are so far left that they can't even rationalize with reality. They're a living contradiction. So you have this black girl with a head full of weave. You not not not. She don't have curly weave. She don't have a, a coarse weave. She got white people hair. She got her hair looking like it's permed down to the back, like European hairstyles. She's appropriating white culture. And she want to tell people, white folks, that she feel uncomfortable with them being in a multicultural uh, space. I want you to listen to what she said so you can see how ridiculously crazy and racist this is. Roll the film. Public service announcement. Excuse me. If y'all didn't know, this is the MSC. And frankly, there's just too many white people in here and this is a space for people of color. So just be really cognizant of the space that you're taking up because it does make some of us POCs uncomfortable when we see too many white people in here. It's only been open for four days. And frankly, there's the whole university for a lot of y'all to be at. And there's very few spaces for us. So keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. A black girl with white people hair in her head saying that she's mad or, or she feel uncomfortable that there's white people in a multicultural space claiming that they have access to the whole campus and it's not enough black people in there or it's too many white people in there. Just imagine. I want y'all to go with me down uh, 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 reality lane. Just imagine if you saw a white kid get up and make a statement like that just imagine they get up and they say you know what we have this multicultural room but there's too many black people in here i know y'all got the whole campus y'all got mlk y'all got all this it's too many black people and i don't feel comfortable just just letting y'all know they will not only will they lose their scholarship they'll get death threats all, all of the above will happen to them What's going to happen to this young girl? Probably nothing. What should happen to her? She should be expelled from school. That is the most racist video just about that I have ever seen in, in the 2000s. I have yet to see. I'm talking about I'm not talking about a hillbilly somewhere. I'm not talking about a thug in the middle of of the hood making ridiculous statements. I have never seen in an educational environment where kids are supposed to be going to school to learn. They are the future of America, supposedly. Make a, a racist comment so inflammatory in my life. And the problem, ladies and gentlemen, is that there is a disconnect. And like my church say, white privilege is a complete myth. There is... And I, I've noticed this growing more and more. There is growing reason to believe that there's more of black privilege than there is white privilege. And this is a perfect example. A white kid could not, even if they felt that way, even if it were true, a white kid could never get up and say that. A black kid can get, be able to say that and get celebrated at the same time. It, it, it's out of control. Where have we gone? What happened to Martin Luther King? Everybody yelling MLK. Uh, they, they celebrate MLK Day, his birthday. All of the above. But you're not practicing that one principle that MLK stood on. He stood for identifying or associating a person's character, not the color of their skin. A man who had experienced racism and prejudice in America, he stood on character. The content of their character, not the color. 
Even in the face of adversity, even in the face of prejudice and racism, he understood that it's still not about the color, it's about the content. And you, t Brandon, why do you say, and why was Martin Luther King correct about this? It's very simple. Even during that period of time, there were white people who helped him, who supported him, who stood up in the civil rights movement for black folks. So it's not about color. And this young girl in this multicultural center is called multicultural, not multiracial. It's about culture. There is a college culture. There, there is a what we consider to be a culture of successful people. And then there's a culture of failures that comes in every color, every shape, every size. Anybody of any race can be successful in the United States of America. But the culture, depending on what cultural ideology you fall in, you will mess around and be a nobody. You will mess around and be doing what this girl is doing. Racist, evil, hateful, prejudiced. This is what this black girl represented. And, and, and I want to see, and I said this earlier in the video, she should be expelled from school, never to return to that university. And the kids there should be advocating, protesting, petitioning for her to be removed. And every other student who have that same mentality of being racist, they should be removed from the school. If this were a white kid, same thing. If this were a white kid, the same thing should happen. If this was a pink kid, the same thing should happen. People, sh if this is unacceptable in the United States of America, period. I don't care what nobody say. I want to know what you think about it. Let me know in the comment section. A am I tripping or is this one of the most racist expressions on college campus that I have seen, that you have seen? You let me know right in the comment section. Anyway, I'm done with this. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification anytime B. Tatum go live. Make sure you visit the Austin Tatum store where you get all the cool merch. You should probably get this shirt. White privilege. False ideology. It's false. I'm out of here. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.